I actually think um, that borderline personality disorder is different from the other personality disorders. It's a more severe illness. It's a more clear clinical syndrome. And it, um, I would be happy with a different name. Um, I think there's a lot of movement to call it something like uh, emotion dysregulation disorder. I don't love that name because I think at its heart it's a disorder of social interaction and the emotion dysregulation is secondary. I do think that the personality disorder notion has, has not been as well grounded as it should be. And I do think it has a pejorative quality. It's like something's wrong with your personality. That seems like it's a very, um, it, it, it's not a great system. And in fact, the people who were um, revising the DSM-5, there was an attempt to throw out the whole, um, the whole DSM-4 structure of personality disorders and to create a category um, that was a, uh, the, the overriding idea of a personality disorder was to be a disorder of self and other. And that was meant to be a disorder of intimacy and a disorder of empathy. Um, and that was going to be the core characteristics of a personality disorder. My problem with that is that's a core characteristic of other disorders too, like autism and schizophrenia. So I don't think it adequately describes it. And insofar as it describes a personality disorder, it really describes borderline personality disorder. So I think we're in, at a time in this profession where we're confused about nomenclature. Um, so uh, I, I think it'll change as time goes by.